player, player. What do you do, Quay? You I good? Know. I mean, so we really gonna start this podcast, bro. Now. Let's pray for this. Really gonna start this podcast. All right, y'all. So if you're watching this on YouTube, we appreciate y'all. If you're listening to this on uh, whatever platform, you know, Spotify, iTunes, Google Next, or what, no, Google Play, Google, Next. <laughs> Google Play. Uh, what are you saying? Our heart radio, whatever it may be, we appreciate radio, you guys. That's a real one. That's a real one. You know, today we got a little something different for y'all. Ooh. Well, first off, if you're watching on YouTube, you notice we got mics. We got right? the freestyle. We Mix ain't suckers like soon. that no more, Mix right? Mixtape coming soon. <laughs> We're not Mix too big of suckers right now. Coming soon. Um, Hold on. I'm trying to look for something. Okay, here I am. Yes. Here I am. Here I am. I'm at so... You got to drop lyrics? Put, you, you, got, you got any lyrics today? No, no. Actually, no. I put up, um, you know, some of y'all might or might not know. I put up some questions. We're going to do some Q&A type shit right you want to talk some shit okay okay you know what i mean okay okay but first oh wait wait but first before we do this so i gotta say some shit man hold up oh okay man so oh. this week i'm on uh what was i on i was watching something this week i forgot a youtube video right and you know of course you know we know girls who get pregnant from like you know it's artificial insemination whatever 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 right we already we already knew this right but I did not know that women can get pregnant from bone marrow. Did you know that? Like, but like, what do you mean, how? Like, like okay, so I didn't read into it like heavy, right? You I just should have before like, you snap on it. Well, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna snap on it. it I I was just thinking, catch a culture is real. All right, they're trying to cancel all niggas out here, man. There's gonna be no men of any use at all, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna tell you why. So okay. So I Google this shit, you know, and you Google the first thing that comes up, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm a click, click, uh, clip, you know, little clip thing kind of guy or whatever. So I ain't trying to research the whole thing. I did read like a small article and it wasn't big. That's what I'm saying. It, it, I didn't go deep into it, mm-hmm. but apparently, yes, it is true. Like there is procedures where women can get their own. I don't know. Actually, that's, that's a part. I don't, know. I don't know if it's their own bone marrow or if it's somebody else's bone marrow. I think it's their own and they can create sperms out of that. And then, and then you could actually get pregnant off of that. So, girls, you know, girls always say shit like, oh, we don't, we, the only reason we need guys is to create babies, blah, blah. Nah, the motherfuckers really mean that shit now. Now they're gonna be like, yo, we don't need you, motherfuckers. But let me ask you a question. Does that baby end up looking just like her? I, yo, that's a good question. That, or I don't is know. a gene pool like her grandparents? Well, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I think uh, the thing was, what is the the male gene? Like, there's a Y chromosome mm-hmm. and X chromosome, right? Is yeah. the, the, I think for women is Y, and um, they're saying that it's only Y chromosome, so you only make girls. So we'll have a world full of like Amazonians, basically for like <laughs> life, <laughs> like literally. So they're gonna eradicate us. Yo, by I don't multi- know by that, multiplying themselves. You know, look, let me tell you something too, bro. And this I know we're in real cancel culture right now. So you know, I was watching Lip Service, and now they're getting sponsored by like you know these sex toys and shit, bro. They got dildos that penetrate you. They got like a little thing on the side that like hits your clit, and another one on the side that tickles your butthole, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. There is no man in this world that can vibrate and tickle all three at the same Wait, time. Who, who, who's advertising this? Huh? Like, no, this is, this is, yeah, so it's, you know, lip service yeah. and the use podcast. And this is sex. This is a bunch of bullshit. You got me like a bunch of shit. And, bro, and obviously this is for masturbators. But, bro, like, if you really think about it, the minute you start getting used to that kind of stimulation... When you're with a man, that shit ain't gonna mean shit to you. It's like, what the? It's like a girl trying to give you a hand job and you've been the expert jacking your meat your whole fucking life. Think about that shit. Ain't no girl finna give you a hand job like you jacking your own meat. <laughs> that shit don't exist. I, I'm just keeping it real. Like, on some real stuff, I was thinking, yo, with these sex toys out, this shit is really fucking up. Like, yo, technology in general. It's gonna ruin society. I don't wanna say it's gonna ruin society because. Technology has helped us out a lot, but yo, that shit is crazy how shit is kind of going. We don't need nobody. Because, okay, look, you have sex dolls now, right? Like, real ass, like, yeah. I, honestly, that is weird, but motherfuckers out here will fuck a sex doll, for sure. Hey, Niggas takes, out here fucking pillows. It takes a lot out of work, you know? Yeah, right, right. So, I'm just, so I, I, I don't know how this is going to move on. Like, if we're going to have strip clubs with robots. Like, imagine a strip club yeah. with only sex dolls that know how to dance now. You get what I'm saying? Like, the... I don't know, but I think these robots really come out here and taking everybody's job. Like, I'm telling you, yo, you're going to go, you're going to try to smash a, sh- a shorty or whatever, and, bro, that shit is going to do nothing to her. You get me? Because she's <laughs> over here used to her shit vibrating, yeah. spinning, uh, waving, and that shit. Like, you can't do that shit, bro. So, come what on, you're man. saying is we should all take our L and walk home. No, I'm not saying that. Now, tamana. I'm just saying, you know, 
This shit just got me by by shock. I mean, I got nothing to say about it. I'm not gonna fight it. Nothing. <laughs> that shit just really took me by by storm. The you fact you that weren't expecting it. It's it's like, but that's real council culture. That's really like you know we talked about this earlier. You know, council culture is in this um state of like, it's in the state of like um, yo, if you say anything wrong, then yeah, you're, you're done. Shunned. No, no, no. They really about to say, yo, men ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> men don't need... Sh- Maybe that's why men at the beginning of like everything is like, yo, we can't let these girls work. We can't let these girls do shit. Because yeah, if they start... Control, cause you knew. Yeah. You knew. Yeah, because you knew like, yo, if they if they start taking over, we're fucked. They're not going to need us for shit. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. And so how the fuck Eve fuck around, eat an apple, fuck it up for everybody, and she's still winning? How the fuck that happened, bro? Damn. Most women don't even have to go through real pregnancy no more. They do C-sections. Well, that's still her story. Nah, bro. That don't hurt more than real birth. Okay, but well, actually, you know what? You don't even have to go through C-section. You get a... Uh, what was... Uh, man, I forgot the word. Kim K. A oh, surrogate. a surrogate. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, not, but, but I mean, yes, you got money. for the woman, right? But that woman still has to give birth. Though. Yeah, I was saying, but like, you as a woman of like with privilege... Well, yeah, you yeah, can, yeah, I get what you're you saying. Can, think about it. You take your husband because you don't have to have your husband cheat on you. Yeah. You take his semen, you impregnate another woman, yeah, and she yeah. does the work for you. Shit, yeah, shit's getting wild out here, bro. Man, if you got that's money, true. That's true. If you got money, you can make anything happen out here. The, you know, in in that sense, I'm I'm telling you, and it's not. I, I mean, that that's a part about money because you got money, you do anything. You know what I mean? But just in the whole sense of like this, I guess like women uproar and like all of this like uh, advances going on. Shit's getting kind of scary out here in these streets. Elf. This shit getting real scary out here. I'm telling you right That's now, bro. Facts, man. Man, I mean, look, I'm gonna lose. Look, look at it like this. I mean, men ain't taking L's yet, and you gotta really gotta get like this. So you know, women they fight the um the 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 wage gap, right? And they're like, oh, but men, you know, this, this and that, you know, and everybody's like mad, like, yeah, it's true, you know, like, why do women get paid less? Well, so this this is the thing. If a woman and 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 by the way, this is a reference joke, all right. So nobody come at me. This is a reference joke, but the joke made a lot of sense. It to sounds me. like it's gonna be bad. You have to clarify that. Look, well, no, I, I have to clarify because I want nobody thinking like, oh, this motherfucker out here stealing. No, I'm not stealing nothing. I'm telling. I heard this joke and I'm like, yo, this should actually makes sense. So, the wage gap is every woman gets seventy five cents per every dollar mm-hmm. that every that man, man gets, makes, right? Yeah. But that woman can't complain because yo, when you get married. Combined income, you have one bank account, you got a dollar seventy five. You got dollar seventy five, he got dollar seventy five. You good. First of all, he don't got a dollar seventy five. I'ma tell you who got, got it real five. rough. No, no. I'm gonna tell you who got it real rough out here, bro. Gay women or lesbians have it real rough out here. And I'm gonna tell you why. The fire? Huh? They have fire? No, no, they have it rough. Oh, I heard you say fire. Lesbians have it rough no. out here. And the reason why lesbians have it rough out here is cause now when you get together, you don't have a dollar seventy five. What you got? One fifty? You got one fifty. <laughs> you got less money now to play with, and and and, and, with and it, corporate America, they're still very white owned. You might not even get hired, right? But that's what I'm saying. So lesbians have a little bit of, but the motherfuckers that we really, really got to be looking at, like really putting the finger <laughs> on, is this. the gay I motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, let me ask you a question, Chris. When two gay guys get together and they buy a house. How much money they got? They got two dollars. They got two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> two dollars. Yeah, Let me tell you something. The you reason why they this say gay people live in the best neighborhoods, yo, it's because they got two dollars. This conversation just made me lose IQ, bro. <laughs> IQ points, like for sure. Not even lying. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm, I'm looking at people like he got two. She got one. <laughs> they got more money. Got one they got more money. Yo, if men make more money than women, right? That's wild, bro. And two guys get together. You both make, even if y'all broke, you're making $40,000 a year, whatever bullshit, right? You're making $80,000 a year now. Shit, you make a hundred, now you make $200,000 a yeah, year. Yeah, but if you split, you lose 50 or 80% of everything again. Okay? Yeah, but that's if you split. Gay people don't be breaking up like that, though. How do you know? They don't get married in most, most states because... Man, are you crazy? Think about it. Gay guys, they basically marry their best friend, right? And when you get married, what you, what you fighting about? You're not fighting about shit. The way you're fighting... Yo, let me ask you a question real quick. What do guys fight about? About dumb shit, yeah, sports, all the time. All sports. The time. Nah, all the time. man, Mayweather is better than this guy. Oh, but Mayweather never lost. Nah, but Mayweather sucks because bro, everybody yeah. talks dumb shit. Guys always talking about dumb shit. There's never real fights. You know, when you fight with a girl, it's always dumb shit. You know what I mean, yeah, like the girl, the girl be wilding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that, like they got two lesbians, uh, like a lesbian couple. Is what I'm trying to say. Yo, that right? Yo, that's a household. Lie. You're gonna catch shit. smoke. Please. 
Nah, that's cool. I don't care. You got to smoke with it. It is a reference joke. Y'all can't come for me. Y'all got to come for the person who told this joke. Smoke. All right, man. Not for me. <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up to you. He's like, yeah, I just to say, you know, nothing important. Just, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's do this Q&A, man. What do you want to start, bro? Do oh, you no. want to start by the I'm down page or my page? Which was worse? Now, well, none of them are bad. They're all talking about, like, you know. Which is more entertaining. Which has a good question that you want to address. Hmm. They're all pretty good, like. Um, is there one that, like, really caught your attention? Yeah, there actually is one. So, this person has this, so. So, she said. All right, fine. Let's start with let's start with Fatima's. I mean, Fatima's question is pretty pretty. Let me. I'll let you answer this. So, what is I'm down? I'm down is something that I decided to have in a vision when I was in an ecstasy of dream, and I had this revelation and this prophecy and this illumination, and and I realized that this was was it all about. <laughs> so, so what drugs were you on when you were having this revelation? It was ultra. It was ultra. It was ultra. <laughs> so nah, you got like Molly nah, or something man. like that. I'm down. Um, if, if you've been following for a while, you know some people follow because they're friends, but they don't actually listen to this. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But just to give you a quick clip that George can put eventually on IG. Uh, I'm down. is conversation, man. It's um, it's a mindset. It's a paradigm. It's a way of thinking that you know we want to live our lives to the fullest. Like we don't want to hold back because of a job we don't want to hold back because uh of the financial situation we believe communication and experience you know that is what matters in life like we don't ever want to say I, I when we're lying in our deathbed that we we wish we would have more like i don't want to have regrets that's what i'm down and saying you know it's not you know all the recklessness we talk about that's just a good time of communication and not but the idea of i'm down is encouraging people to live their dreams you know we, we talk about this whole youtube thing that for us, if one person is listening, you know, and we can encourage them to step out of their bed and into their action, into their dream, into their vision. Even if you failed, at least you did it. So, you know, you won't have the regret or the what if. That's I'm down for me. I think it's, you know, communicating, encouraging, inviting people to live their lives to the fullest. You know, and don't, com- don't submit to corporate, don't submit to college, don't submit to none of that if it's not for you. Like, just be who you are. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And, t- and just, just to add on to that, it, it, everything that Chris said and you know especially about that one person you know it sometimes it just takes somebody that you see as like you know a regular person mm-hmm. doing something that maybe you wanted to do and it just takes that moment for you to be like holy fuck if you're doing that shit I could do that right, shit exactly you know what I mean? giving that that encouragement exactly and you know um a part of this is like for us too you know that we we're gonna look back one day 10 years from now 15 years from now and see the kind of conversation we're having and you kind of see the growth yeah. overall you get me that kind of conversation you're having mm-hmm. now yeah. and where you are in life yeah you know you're what, I mean? that, what you're experiencing in your life you shouldn't speak the same couple of years ago you did now because you see the world different exactly and that's a, a comparison to us definitely yeah. for sure for, for sure you know and on on that scale that that's that's what gives other people the site because you know everything's documented everything's being mm-hmm. uploaded is going to be there yeah. so if somebody finds the first video or the newest video it's like oh shit you kind of go down this wormhole yeah, of oh yeah. this is the shit and then you know what i mean because most people and i'm not saying most people but some people they usually start certain things when they're already popping or when they have a lot of mm-hmm. money or whatever yeah, yeah. You, it's safe to say we started from zero at this yeah. point. I mean, we're it, still it, at it's, zero it's at that, some, to yeah, some course, extent, right? And, you know, it, it's that that whole saying that says, uh, you know, everybody knows the glory, nobody knows the story. Exactly. But you know, the beautiful thing of YouTube is that you get to see the first video with just an iPhone. Yeah. And now we've got microphones. One day we'll have a whole studio. That's the angle. Yeah. You know, where people can come in and record their stuff too. That's literally what we want. We want to yeah. give people a platform mm-hmm. to believe in. But meanwhile, you know, just join along for the ride. Yep. All right. That that you could answer that much better. You couldn't have. So now, okay, this this is probably a little bit. Uh, I guess whatever. So this one is: Why do celebrities who do crap make more money than doctors? So in other words, why do these? Ce- that's the basic thing, you know. Why do these celebrities yeah. who aren't really why like, is your Cardi making more money than your than, than PhD, somebody make yeah. uh, saving lives or whatever? Uh, that's that's whatever. simple. It's consumerism. Uh-huh. Is uh, demand and supply. Uh-huh. You're criticizing that person on Instagram. That is giving them money. <laughs> the yep. fact that you're using this social media uh, to complain about them gives them notice, gives them mentions, gives them tags, and that creates popularity. Nowadays, people don't care about TV ads as much as they do about Instagram ads. So when you are engaging in a person, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah. So conversations right. about them, you know, their Instagram, their YouTube followers, this whole idea, 
brands look at them and say, man, that person's marketable. Mm-hmm. You know? And so that person's marketable, then I can put my ad in, in front of their YouTube video or in front of their new song or whatever it is and, and it'll create motion, you know? And people are developing this this um, group think where it's like, you know, you support a star because you see them on YouTube and you expect them to be that way the whole time. Mm-hmm. And so that's giving them, that's why they make money because you and I are supplying the, the demand for this desire that, hey, we want people like this. We want to see what people are doing. We want to see what they are about, mm-hmm. even when they're walling out. We love people who wall out. I know we, we love to bash them, but we love to see them. Yeah. So no, that's that. that and, and that's for you know, I, I think that a lot of this also comes down to like, oh, so how is it that I go to college and I spend all these years in college and I spend all this money and all this education and I'm doing something bigger for the world or whatever. And um, this person who hasn't done shit or whatever is making more money. You know, that's that's almost hating in, in a sense. You I mean, that's I mean? definitely that hating. You, you kind of hate in a, a certain hustle because just like you said, man, like, you know, entertainment is one of the biggest things ever. You know mm-hmm. I mean? Going out to eat is entertainment. Going out to watch a show is entertainment. Going to the movies is entertainment. Yeah, like you're, you're Shopping com- is yeah. entertainment. Like, all of that shit is, like, is, it has it, some yeah, idea. Think about you know? an NBA player. Somebody says, oh, an NBA player out of high school makes way more money than I would if I got a PhD. Right. Exactly. But who's paying for their tickets? Who's paying for their jerseys? Who's right. paying? You are. Right. So you, if you said, you know what, and people have agreed with you yeah, yeah. that these people are not worth it and they stop, yeah. then these people will not make money anymore. Exactly. But because we're still feeding into it, <laughs> then they're getting fed, they're getting paid. Yeah, I mean, and, and re- realistically, this is the thing, man. You know, when, when it comes to uh, on, on the track of degrees, all mm-hmm. of this shit, you know, I feel like a lot more people get sold into something than anything. You get me? Like, you know, so for example, okay, if you're a lawyer or a doctor, right? And you're saying, okay, you know, uh, l- lawyers and doctors, they're known for making a lot of money, right? Yo, there's broke, broke as entertainers out here also, you get me? So it's, yeah. it's not, it's two ends of the spectrum here, you get me? You can't just, there is people in entertainment getting money, but the reason that they're getting money is not solely based on entertainment. A lot of these people also have their own businesses, you get yeah, me? Yeah, they learn how to pivot into exactly. different things. Exactly, and just like you said, they have the, you know, they have your attention. And the fact that you're asking the question just says everything. Yeah, you know you're because, thinking about them. Exactly. And that, that's the attention in, in, in this totality. I mean, if you have a business, for example, if I have a business, right? And I know that, oh, if Drake wears, let's say I have a business, I started a t-shirt company and Drake wears my t-shirt, just because Drake wore my t-shirt, I'm probably going to sell out of that t-shirt that mm. same day. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because Drake did it. So that's the kind of uh, impact that these celebrities yeah. have. Now, if I give that shit to a doctor, that shit probably going to sell nothing. Yeah, I mean, because the doctor doesn't have an impact as mm. far as, like, you know, how you feel, realm, how you think. Yeah, exactly. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these entertainers, they grow to be uh, your idols. Mm-hmm. They grow up to be someone you want to yeah, be Yeah, your like. icons, yeah. Exactly. And I'm sure that there's celebrity doctors, right? You got Dr. Oz. Mm, and, you yeah. know, there's people that... But, but, that, it's, but it's different. But that's celebrity. Yeah, you gotta, Dr. Yeah. Oz is not yeah. about his doctor. It's about the celebrity. Mm-hmm. And, and so you got to understand that... Uh, you know, we can complain all we want, but it's like the whole idea of, oh, why teachers get paid so little? Yeah. We got, there's an idealistic world where things should be this way. And then there's the reality of the world that we're living in. You know, in reality, teachers don't get paid enough. And in a good world, in an idealistic world, they would get paid better. Right. But in this world, they're not attractive to anybody. Mm-hmm. You know, a kid playing uh, Fortnite will make, probably makes more money than a teacher. Oh, for sure. Like this, you know, yeah. because it's what we're living in now. It's what draws attention. It's what draws followers. It's what draws mentions. And so in a social media-led world, those who understand the market are the ones who thrive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like brokers. Those who know the, the market, those are the ones who win. It's not the yeah. one, the broker who says, I like this company. It's the broker who doesn't understand, oh, that company's going to blow up. Yeah. And, and to piggyback off the teacher thing, you know, it, when it comes to teaching, you know, you're talking about traditional, you know, I got my degree, mm-hmm. I teach in the classroom kind of teachers, but you also have the teachers that are on YouTube teaching yeah. how to work mic mm-hmm. and for and focus, right? They're yeah. not your traditional teacher, but they're definitely reviewing and teaching you a product. That's that's still in the spirit of teaching. Yeah, you get me? And so, they're making money. <laughs> right. And they're making money because they're giving you a certain service slash entertainment slash whatever it may be. You get me? But all of that is always going to, I think it's always prevailed. You get yeah, me? It's if, within the realm of the right. market. Right. I mean, look, if we lived in a world where we didn't give a fuck about YouTube and, and we didn't give a fuck about technology and there's just straight famine and all the mm-hmm. other shit, then shit, the, the I guess like the, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? The lure? The attraction? The, uh, um, no, but the, the needing of a doctor. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, it, it's, go- it's going to like be much, much yeah. higher. You know I mean, then, then I was looking yeah. for an economic word. Oh, okay. Uh, 
which you should know like the need the need the demand the demand <laughs> the demand of a doctor will be much higher yeah. you know I me mean? than that of a fucking entertainer because yeah. yo every, but right now everybody's having a good time everybody's laughing yeah. the economy's good you know every, everybody's having a good yeah. time until shit gets all fucked up and we get bombed or some weird shit like that then the demand for nurses is mm-hmm. gonna rise the demand for doctors is gonna rise x y and z you know I me mean? it's all about yeah, it's a, what's going on in the world is that, is that we like to think that supply and demand only works in economics but that works in everything. Mm-hmm. You know You know what is the shoe that everybody wants is the shoe that no one can get. Mm-hmm. You know what's the phone that everybody wants? The one, the phone that no one can get. Yep. The t-shirt that everybody wants is the same. Th- the same thing with professions. Everybody that now wants to be a YouTuber because it's what seems attractive. Yep. You know? So that whole idea works in everything. That's what the reason they get paid so much is because they learned to excel at the right time in the right place. Facts. You know? And that's that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to click a random one. All right. Oh, this one's good. So a girl has difference between men 18 and up and boys 17 through 14. Mm. So basically, what's the difference between someone who is 18 and older and someone who's 17 in their Nothing. teenage in their teenage years? Nothing, unless they choose to be mature about it. Okay. Because you can be an adult and still be a boy in your mind. Mm-hmm. And then there's dudes who had to grow up at a young age because yeah. of their life, you know, struggles and whatnot. Yeah. So I think it's all like a mindset. It's what it is. Yeah. Uh, because when you're a teenager, but it's the thing is that when you break it at 18, you're assuming the person's an adult because yeah. of the legal term of an adult. Mm-hmm. But in reality, like when you're an 18, you're still a teenager. Mm-hmm. When, when you're 21, you're still technically like a teenager because, mm-hmm. bro, like unless you really have responsibilities, you think the world is yours. Yep. Like it's not until like the world really slaps you and you need to grab a sweater because it's a cold world that you change. But overall, you think the world's yours. You know, I will say this now. Thinking about it from her point of view, I'm not sure why she's asking this question. I don't know if this has to do with a relationship. Like high school jump? Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe. I have no idea why she's asking this. Um, I, if I had to assume right now, it, it was so, somewhere along the lines of like a relationship or something like that, right? Cause I mean, like when you're in high school and you're thinking about boys, that's mostly what you're thinking about, yeah. right? So, I mean, r- realistically speaking, like you said, this is all going to be very different individualized, right? It depends on what... When I was 18... The difference between me being 14 and me being 18 is going to be very different. Hmm? Right. That, that, that's what I was going to get to. Though. I was going to get to... Not, I want to say just priorities. Your priorities do change depending on the kind of person you are. Again, like you said, because yo, you could be 18 or you could be 21. It doesn't matter. 25 and still be on the same shit you were at when you mm-hmm. was 18 years Facts, old. You get yeah, me? For sure. Getting money, fucking girls, you know, dumb shit like that, right? And, mm-hmm. st- and still be on the same mindset. Yeah, big money baller. Right, but I would say experiences is definitely a, a big a big difference. You know, when you're in high school, um, and I've always said this, you live in uh, your, your world. You a get bubble. me? In your little bubble. So the we're talking about this today. The finest girl in your school is who you think is the finest girl, period. You get me? Besides celebrities, right? And the same thing, vice versa. The cutest guy in your school is the finest guy, period. You get me? Until. You get to college and until you start going out. You get me? And yeah, you start traveling. Like when you actually step yeah. into the world. Exactly. And then you start to realize, oh, shit. Like, yo, there's this motherfucker who I thought was cute. He ain't shit. He's like a six on yeah, a good day. Exactly. He ain't shit. This motherfucker ain't shit compared to X, Y, yeah, and Z. You get me? Yeah. So I would say the biggest difference is experience. And, you know, if you're... A, Maybe for most people, I would I would definitely say priorities. I mean, it definitely changes when you're in high school. You're probably fucking around. You don't yeah, really care. You want to you know? be the cool kid. You right, right. You're trying to fit in. Trying to then when you get out, then that's when your real life starts. So that's what I I would definitely say that. So I'm, I can't really say too much about that. Yeah, one. I, I think it's just mentality. Yeah. So I, I guess ho- hopefully that helped. I don't know. I don't know how deep, how we, deep we do it for it, the people. It's we because do I don't people. understand like, the, like the, what uh, your your scope the is. The background of the right, question. Right. All right, this was a little bit all over the place. So she said, so-called hustlers or loyalty and friendship. So that's two questions. So let's answer the first one. So so-called hustlers. Like like the movie? I don't know. Maybe what do you mean by hustlers? Like people who take you know money? What I think, you know, people maybe, who hustle? M- m- this is what I think. M- maybe where this person's coming. I don't remember this was a guy or a girl either. No, actually, that was a girl. And so there's the thing. When you mean so-called hustlers, are you talking about like motherfuckers who be um, talking about like, oh, Time to get this bag. Time to get this money. Blah blah. But they work out like you know, fucking. I don't. I don't even know what to say, nigga. Where? Okay, it, I guess McDonald's. No, it's like you know, I no can't. Insult, I can't. No that's insult. what I'm saying. I don't no want to say a specific job because I'm not trying to knock nobody's job. You know what I mean? I so if that's the hustle don't quit, the, grind don't stop. Right. Like <laughs> if you mean by. Well, right. But th- this is the thing. I think the misconception here is this. 
a lot of people think chasing the bag is just getting any check, any mm. money. You get me? I, I mean, for me, when I when I hear chasing the bag, I'm thinking about oh, you're getting tens of thousands or maybe thousands for doing like something very minimal. And by minimal, I mean like this: you get paid five thousand dollars to go host a club at night. That's getting a bag. You get me? Yeah. Now some people are looking at me like motherfucker, fuck. That's not getting a bag. I make way more money. Again, that's your life. You get me? I have a very different life. This so this is all objective yeah, in a yeah, way, yeah, right? Yeah. Like this is all gonna be very Proportional, different, depending to your lifestyle. Exactly. So, get, getting a bag is different. So called hustlers. I don't really know what a so called hustler would be unless you're looking at it from an Instagram kind of. Or, or, or like the somebody, motherfuckers that be pouring money on the you know they it's payday. They check they cash out the whole check and they want to put hundreds or whatever on the on the. Bad and like they're balling, but you know you about to pay all your bills with that money. Like in I don't know, you know is that like hustling like in the hood term, like the real hood term, where it's like somebody who bucked you? Uh, uh, is that what you're about? Like, I don't know. That's I said. I, I, I need more. I need more background. More answers. context. Can we? Can we explain? More back can you explain? Yeah, I don't know. The other one though, loyalty and friendships. Talk to me about that. I don't know, man. Loyalty is everything, bro. At least in my opinion. You know, to me, at least. Well, well okay. What what does that mean, though, to you? What's loyalty and friendship I, mean? I think uh, loyalty and friendship don't have to be together, in my opinion. Because I can be loyal to someone I used to be friends with mm-hmm. and still not badmouth them because things just happen. Yeah, yeah. I think loyalty is, is more like an honor code, like like a certain respect. Like a guy code, girl yeah, code type like, of thing? Like a respect. Because I think loyalty extends, you know, relationships, whether it's same-sex relationships and the kind of friendship. Or where there is a, like a romantic relationship. Loyalty is, is like that honor where you say, you know, I'm going to respect this person no matter what. Like, even if you guys have a disagreement, you don't yeah. go and bash people. You don't go and subtweet them. You don't go and, and talk bad about them behind yeah, the yeah, backs. Yeah. Because it's just like, yo, I got loyalty. I got respect for what that person and I wear at whatever point. So you feel like loyalty is respect. I think in, loyalty in is respect. Got gotcha. So so respecting that. Okay. Like having somebody's back is respect. In my yeah, opinion. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess I guess I agree too for, for the most part, for sure. Um... It, it it just depends what you mean by bad mouthing somebody. You know, you sense. know, like what like, do you mean? Like people who be like, um, like they used to be super tight with somebody, uh, they're no longer tight. Yeah, and then you be like, oh yeah, so and so. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, always chill. Like yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what's yeah, yeah. Going I get you. Like, I get you. I get you. I, I, that's why like when people I'm like, oh, they have no loyalty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the moment you and okay. them have a disagreement, I know you're gonna go behind their back too. And yeah. Snap. Nah, yeah, I I I get, I get that entirely. Cause you know, so I have friends. That I don't normally chill with all the time, right? But I still consider them friends. Mm-hmm. You get me? That I can still hit them up and they'll, yeah, yeah. they'll pull up and all that shit, right? But I don't chill with them all the time. Um, and and in in that case, is you know, it's very different. I think that you need to understand who your friends are first and foremost. You get me? You need to understand their character and who they are mm-hmm. before you can um, react and act. You get me? So, for example, like I have friends who I know I can't necessarily tell everything to that I don't want out in public. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So now that you, now you might be asking, like, oh, but then why are you friends with them? You, you're saying you can't trust them? You know that I can't trust them is that I don't think that, like, you know, since like you, you may talk to, for example, like a, a girl, right? Mm-hmm. And you tell a girl something and that girl goes and tells somebody else something and something, and, you know, it kind of just... Like next thing you know Your business is all yeah, out there yeah, You honest. look at it like Oh this person th- uh, Why are you talking Like yo I don't think that person Went out and had the intentions Of like trying to put All your business out there but You know like the wisdom To but, know what they're doing Right like they Exactly Like they, they just didn't realize Like yo Maybe if I tell this person's Business over here Is gonna go over here mm-hmm. And it's gonna go over there yeah, yeah. And maybe they might get mad And they, they don't understand that So you know in, in, in that In that case In those senses You don't necessarily need to like Quote unquote Realize like you know well, it necessarily like oh, this person's not being loyal to me. Mm-hmm. That might be um like a trespass on you. Yeah, yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You might be like oh well, I thought that you're not being loyal to me. Yeah, in, in this it's, case because uh, I mean, those the kind of questions that everybody has their different definitions of loyalty. Right, right. Because to me, it's like if somebody doesn't like me anymore, that's cool. Yeah. But like if I ever told you something back then, I expect to be between you and me back then. Right, it right. It don't mean like, yo, because we don't agree no more, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to go and be like, oh, now, blah, 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 blah. You see, but that's exactly what I mean, though. Bec- but what well, you said that I expect, but you need to, before you expect no, 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 something yeah, yeah, yeah. from someone, yeah, yeah. You, need you need to, to understand the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you know the person, you know, is chatty patty, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say chatty patty. Like they like to, yeah. they like to talk and whatnot. It doesn't say that they're coming from a, like their intention doesn't necessarily be bad. Yeah, yeah. Like it's they're like, trying to play, but yeah, it's, it's just how they, they are. They're, they're characters. Yeah, like they, they they're yeah. they're very like open with everyone else. You get mm-hmm. me? So they tell. So yeah. that that's what you can't really if you know that somebody's like that, don't expect of certain things from yeah, some yeah. You gotta yeah, understand somebody's nice. character before you move forward on that. You yeah, me? for that's sure. Definitely true. For sure. You got anything else to add to that one? No, I think you covered it. All right, man. Let's let's go to this. This was pretty uh it is big. 
Um, so this is a, y'all should talk about the goat discussion. So you know, uh, Charlemagne was on uh, the shop, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't know if you did. You ever see the excerpt to that? Like with Kevin Hart, Kevin the, Love. The, I saw the one the where, goat where people were snapping on Kevin Hart for what he said about Lil, like to Lil Nas. To Lil Nas. Yeah, I saw that part. That's it. I, I I didn't see that, but okay. So the whole talking shop, um, Charlemagne brought up to talk about the goat, right? Like the goat gene. Charlemagne thinks that. There, that's a gene. Like again, it's, it's like a gene that you comes within. It. Yeah, yeah it. it's like once in a lifetime. Like for like, he talked about LeBron. He said like LeBron's a once in a lifetime player. Like we're not gonna see someone like LeBron again for like another generation or mm-hmm. something like that, right? He talked about um, well he he said he said Michael Jordan was once in a lifetime player type thing, right? We won't see him for another like, like generation, player, right? Okay. So the argument was, do you think there's a go gene? I know Kevin Hart disagreed. He's like, nah, I just think that you know you could work hard and you know blah blah. And then, you know, Kevin Love agreed. Like, yeah, I think, you know, you work hard. But then Charlemagne kind of, like, challenged Kevin Love and said, well, Kevin, if that's the case, how come you're not at LeBron's level? Mm-hmm. You get me? And, I, I, again, I didn't see the whole thing, but that's what go- the whole GOAT talk is, do you believe there's a GOAT gene? The greatest of all time gene, like, you know. Nah. Uh, well, was, or do you think anyone could be great, uh, a GOAT? I think anybody can be a GOAT. I think it's not the gene of, like, that, that uh, physical... Attributes that is definitely like a like DNA. Well, I mean, because, not necessarily look, physical. It physical, could be anything. No, saying, Mental. In the physical attributes, LeBron is a once in a lifetime dude. Like that dude is physically, mm-hmm. he's amazingly built. Yeah, you get me. But then there's that the whole the DNA of a person, the way they're made, and the I think that that is, is something you develop within yourself—a mentality, a killer mentality, mm-hmm. right? Like look at Kobe. Kobe had a killer mentality, mm-hmm. but Kobe doesn't have necessarily an, a body that exerts like. Dominance, right? Like power. I'll like give you the perfect yeah. example: Tom Brady. Okay. Tom Brady was drafted in like the last round. You yeah, know, yeah. physically looking, he doesn't look like a super skilled football player. Super slow, super what? Right. But the dude is a killer. And on he's the like field forty-two because he's like because and, the mentality right, that he right, has right. is like, dude, I want to be the best ever. I think that your mentality that needs to be changed uh, because there's people who are athletically are dominant but then their mentality is trash but I mean that that but that that kind of goes into play with the go gene though like I mean there there are certain people that will work hard right will be out there day in day out putting in the work but they just will not be as good as like the, I feel like everybody has a blood sweat. look in the gym right you go to the gym Everybody, right, who exists in this lifetime has like a, a wall to how much muscle, mm-hmm. how big they can get. Everyone, you get me? It, it, there's not an infinite amount mm-hmm. of how big you get. Otherwise, there'll be somebody as big as Earth already. You get what I'm saying? So maybe somebody like me, right? I'm like 5'5, five, five, 130 pounds. I'm not gonna, I can't expect to like ever look like Arnold, who was like 6'5, yeah, yeah. 250 pounds. You get what I'm saying? Arnold was a GOAT, but Arnold probably wasn't, yeah, most likely not the biggest guy mm-hmm. ever. You get what I'm saying? There's guys that are bigger than Arnold, but he's still a GOAT. You get yeah. me? And it, it it has a lot to do with mentality, but it also has a lot to do with, like, it, it's almost like, like I kind of agree with the gene. Like, it's almost like this underlining, like, you're like the chosen one, and I can't really talk about it, yeah. but I mean, like, I, like, I, I, I saying, like you know, tell me, wired Tom Brady, right? Tom Brady, he's 42. Still out here winning Super yeah. Bowls, right? He was part of the whole shop thing. Mm-hmm. Dude, there's guys, there's quarterbacks out here who are busting their ass day in and day out, and they will not get the kind of light that Tom Brady has. Yeah, but... And the same thing goes no, for no, LeBron. No, no, there's no. guys out here busting yeah, their no, ass no, and, ball, those, and they won't saying, be like, like LeBron. I, it's just... I mean, I understand, like... For me, it has to be just mind, like a mind disposition. Like, I'll give you an example. Physically speaking, Kevin Durant is is a one of generational player. Okay, long, yeah, like yeah. super tall. Yeah, he has speed and length, and you know is an incredible shooter from wherever you want to put him. Yeah, but everybody has always bashed his mindset, right? Because they're always like yeah, Kevin yeah. is soft. Yeah, he's soft. He's uh, like, well, soft. Yeah, let's go yeah, with soft. Kevin oh, is soft. Like, Twitter, everybody, yeah. everybody says Kevin is soft. Yeah. and then you look at the counterpunch in Stephen Curry. Mm-hmm. Physically, is not imposing at all. Right. But Stephen Curry, everybody says about the baby faced assassin yeah, because yeah. of the way he played the game. That's mentality, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. I don't think that that's a DNA. I think you develop that through circumstance. But you know, can you overcome circumstance? Yes, but at the same time, no. These guys are chosen, though. That's almost like like you got to display like that. Like these guys are already chosen. They just some of them have a better because mental. I agree, the mentality is the thing, and I think that was Kevin Hart's argument. He's like, "Yo, it's your mentality." But what if somebody has that mentality? What is because a lot of people that have the mentality, like, "Yo, I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna be this. I'm gonna be that." But just sometimes shit just doesn't happen for you. Like, look, okay. 
Who's the biggest comedian of our time right now? You you think? Kevin Hart. Without a doubt, yeah, Kevin Hart's in every movie. At least in like 2016, well, yeah, he was that, in every movie. It's like Kevin was the comedian in the right time, man. Like the the market right now, with like all that Netflix stuff. But all I mean, the I mean, look, whatnot. if you look at Kevin Hart. And his work ethic is probably unmatched, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, and I think a lot of people say that. Yeah, I mean, this guy is out here working, yeah, work, working, working. Yeah, comedian was yeah. I mean, move movies, no, no, no. I you, I workouts, the rock. everything. I was thinking about the Rock. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. But the Rock's not I a mean, comedian, right? Yeah. But I mean, and the the Rock is is almost the same thing except for the Rock. The, the Rock is out here working. Yeah, you like know like me? laboring. But, there's people that are here doing the same thing. Look, there's somebody that could be right next to Kevin Hart, right? And doing the exact same work that Kevin Hart does and not make it to Kevin Hart's level because it just wasn't meant for them. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, but that's like, is that a gene or is that just providence? Is that life? Well, that's, but that's the whole thing though. That that gene is is what we, uh, is, at least the argument there was that like this go gene. you going to be successful. Yeah, it's almost like, yo, you have it in you to be, what you, look, is there, there, I'm sure that you get this, right? That there's people that look at you and say like, yo, Chris, I think you're going to be this one day. I think you're going to mm-hmm. be that one day, right? And there's people that get the, oh, you ain't going to be shit. You're going to be a sucker mm-hmm. the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. You ain't going to do nothing. And they prevail from that. They grow from that, right? Meek Mill talks about it. Meek Mill's mm-hmm. like, yo, my teacher said I will never be nothing in life, blah, blah, blah. Meek Mill's the, mm-hmm. bro, the face of, you know, the whole incarceration yes. and all this stuff. He is social injustice, m- reforms. social injustice reforms. Super millionaire, super popping artist, right? Who beat all odds, mm-hmm. right? That's like a... And now, again, he be all those odds. And then you could be in the exact same playing level, you get me? Where you be all your odds and whatever the fuck you went through, and then you become popping too, mm-hmm. you get me? But, but with that being said, though, that doesn't necessarily mean that your, your poppiness ever reached it's its his, max, yeah, course, uh, his yeah. level, you that know what I'm saying? That potential that it could have been. Right, because it's, it's, it's yeah. two, like, like, different places. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like... So some people have the mind of disposition, but they don't. They will never really make it to the top. I don't know, right? man. Is that then? And that question for me would not be more about gold genie. It'll be like, how do you define success then? No, because because, because you know how do saying? you like, how do you interact with people? Like for example, look. The reason why Kevin Hart's popping, popping is because a lot of people find him funny, right? Mm-hmm. If a lot of people didn't find him funny, then he wouldn't be popping, no, popping. I know, but I'm saying. So like how do you tap whole, into that? Yeah, the whole gene is like because to me, when you talk about goats, it always goes back to sports, right? So it's like the greatest of all time, okay. that person like that that supersedes what was okay. believed to be the level, right? So Kobe, right? Yeah. You're a big Kobe fan. Kobe, Mamba, Mamba mentality, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know if you ever saw the HBO thing that he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Not the movie, but the, the black muse. and white the muse. muse. There we go. Right? His mentality and how he gauged and stuff, how like, yo, he would win a championship and the next day be right back yeah. in the gym, mm-hmm. training, yeah. you know? There's people, I'm pretty sure there's people in the NBA that do the exact same shit. Yeah, man, but it's just like they lose. I feel like I'm telling you, summer they're out there instead of partying. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. But the reason I say it can't be all DNA is because yo, there's dudes who were ballers and have killer mentalities. Shark Barkley, he's just that he happened to play in the Michael era, and Michael was the goal of any goal. But but look, you get what I'm saying. But look at what you just said, though. I think a lot of times it happens to be. Uh, providence and bad luck Like you just happen to be No 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 That's the argument right there though. No. The argument right there is that no, Charles no, Barkley's no. out here Balling now Probably working just as hard But he didn't make it to the To the Michael Jordan level Yeah Michael Jordan was just no, superior no, 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 It's like no, no, you're no. born like this I'm, I'm like being born a king Being born a queen Like Yeah no but You know what I'm saying Like It's like A lot of it is, It's just ex- too many external factors Especially like For example in basketball Kobe had a couple years When he was just slumped Because the Suns were stacked Right And mm-hmm. Steve Nash was winning Every piece and mm-hmm. he could not get past the Suns. He cannot get past the West, yeah. right? Until he gets Paul Gasol. Yeah. And then he gets Andrew Bynum. And then he gets, you know, and then like with Lamar Autumn, they start building a squad. Mm-hmm. At that point, is it Kobe's gene or is the fact that he had his gene to complement the team? Because I, I, that's the thing, that no one gets to the top alone is my point. Right, right. So I mean, that's I why I can't well, say Yeah, you need a gene. team. I mean, Kevin like, Hart has a team. Okay, uh, LBJ, right? Which yeah. is the argument everybody bashed him until he finally won with, uh, uh, with Cleveland again. Mm-hmm. Was dude, he could be a once in a lifetime player, but he's not gonna win Jack until he leaves and goes and gets D Wade and Chris Bosch. Right. So I think once in a lifetime still cannot get you all but, the success unless you do it with somebody else. Kevin Hart true managed I agree with that. to do his success with other people. You know, like like when it comes to movies, he gets with good people in movies. Right, right, right. But I'm saying, but okay, look at his team. Can somebody else in his team be Kevin Hart? No, no, I agree with you that there, you, you still need that one person that to put you over the top. But that's that, that, that's that yeah, little, yeah. the defining no, 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 fact. The, gene, the yeah. gene is like, 
Somebody in this life has a defining factor of like, you know, like, look at Usain Bolt, right? Usain Bolt's the fastest man in the world. You go look at Usain Bolt's races and shit like that. He's not blowing past everybody like a mother. I'm pre- and again, this is me probably talking shit because I haven't seen him race. But yo, you see all these sprinters or whatever. Yo, these motherfuckers, there's people that are tailing them, tailing no, 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 them. But he, he had blew that. People oh, no, I, I, that like I know. he blew people away. So he was blowing motherfuckers like by, like, like yo, is that, is that, you know, remember, a yard. Like, remember, uh, a yard is a huge Hell deal yeah. here. Uh, so he was blowing people by, by but, seconds. But again, though, is there, have we heard of anybody in this lifetime like Hussein Bolt? No, man, but there's like, there's just goat. I I feel like there really is goats out here. That's like it's almost like once in a lifetime. Like you have the you know, there's people out here public speaking, right? They've yeah. been doing it for years. Gary V comes in the scene and starts taking over in the last four years. But takes I, I, I think, over. I think Gary, Gary V was not even the gene. I think Gary V was the message. Gary he has had, a goat gene, bro. G- Gary Jean I had oh, Gary Jean. Gary Jean. Gary, <laughs> no, Gary V. Gary V. We've been saying Gene so much. I'm like Gary Jean. Gary V. Uh, like you know, his message was so counter to what the culture was living in that moment that it was refreshing, and it wasn't like a message of like, "Yo, this is BS." It was like, "This is BS," and let me show you my track record so you can see that this is BS. Because you know, he had the evidence to show what he was talking about to back it up. Look, look. so I don't know. If me it's and you, I think it's a mindset. Yes, but me and you could go to the gym. Me and you both want to hit uh, the same level. But I hit that level before you hit that level. Or I or I hit the level and you never hit that level. And you were there. Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, his his homeboy, I forgot his name. His home, he had a, a buddy that he always trained with. That guy was like, yo, big as hell, all of that shit. Didn't reach the level that Arnold necessarily reached. This is it's just def- I feel like every human has like it's like God selects yo, your thing is this. Like maybe yeah. I feel like and I've been saying this for a long time. Some people aren't necessarily doing what they're and this and this is kind of counterintuitive to what I'm talking about, but some people aren't necessarily doing what they're supposed to do in life. Now, Kevin Love, is he supposed to be playing basketball? Yeah, uh, probably. You know what I mean, he's out there balling when the Timberwolves, he was it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, he he was money. it. You know what I mean? But now He's not really it though. You know what I mean? But he's still making 120, so he ain't. I mean, the money doesn't matter. I'm talking about athletic. Because remember, we're looking at these guys. We don't well, care how much money they well, make. No, no, but realistically, like, also, you know, understand, like, these dudes now, these kids coming out nowadays, mm-hmm. they're unfair. Well, yeah, yo, that's for sure. Zion, yeah, yeah is yo, Zion. Um, that's another fair. one, though. See, that's that's another one, though. That Zion, is, but is that how long is, Zion was in school for? One year, uh, yeah, or three. Man, but that guy, like, one year, he's a freshman. One year, okay. uh, yo, that guy is physically imposing, but skill Crazy. wise, he's not the most skilled player there was, right? Right. But because of the potential, yeah, yeah. That, that's not really a genes. It's more the DNA of his body. Well, that's that has to do with genes, though. Because that, that's remember, part of it. It's part yeah, of it. You know, because remember, in, in there's, the there's athleticism, who end up being first round red players, right? Amazing. Mm-hmm. Athletic potential, okay. but the mindset wasn't there, and so they were weak. They didn't make it to be whoever. Like, they didn't. Their their but my their mindset did not match their bodies, and they could not reach there. I'll say I this: think that that's mindset. Not, not to stick to this conversation forever, because yeah. now we'll be here yeah. forever. I w- I will say this: mindset matters a lot. Mindset is damn near everything. Honestly, it so. is. I, I think, think so, so too. Was, was that a KD joke? Uh, joke. The, the no. So uh, uh, talent. Ta- no. No. Hard work beats hard when talent no. doesn't work hard or something like hard, that. Right? Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Yeah. So I I, de- I definitely agree with that. Mindset has a lot to do with it. If you're thinking positive things, most likely positive things are going to happen to you. I 100% agree with that. You get me? But when it comes to this GOAT thing, there's a the little defining factor. But agree to disagree. Uh, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just to get over this it's question. Much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Much. All right, man. Next question. Okay, so this one was from Kevin. He said, talk about self-investing slash self-care. Teach them youngsters. What you think about that, bro? Self investing, as in finance, or like yeah, to your he, person? Well, he's talking about. Well, he says self investing slash self care. Um, take well. Well, I, I, I'll I'll take the financial part real quick, right? Okay, so today I was in the gym, and I'm talking to this young guy, right? He's 19 years old, and you know we started getting into a conversation. I started telling him, you know, like. Um, my headphone fell off, right? And he and I'm like, he thought it was a beetle. He saw it from the corner. He, th- he thought it was a beetle. He's like, yo. He's like, yeah, I thought it was a beetle. I was like, that's good that that you looked at that shit. You probably would have stepped on that shit, broke my headphone. You know, we started talking about like how much yeah. it costs. And we got to the conversation of like, yo, like like he, he said, yo, these guys think that, you know, we're all millionaires. They, they price these things at $200. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, you know, to be honest with you, these guys do have to stay competitive, you know, it's business. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, we get to talking about just investing in, in, in general. He starts talking about Nipsey Hustle, mm-hmm. which I'm, by the way, I want to say this. I'm super happy that, you know, 
Nipsey's message is really getting out there, especially to the youth about investing and shit like that. Because a lot of people don't really get to that to that level. Me and you talked about it already. You get me? You know, the the one of the minimum things that you can do for yourself. And I told him, yo, open that Roth IRA and start there. You get me? If if your job doesn't offer you a four hundred one k or whatever, a Roth IRA is better anyways. You know, it, it grows tax free. When you end up pulling it up, you don't pay no taxes on that. Mm-hmm. Penalty free by the time you're fifty nine and a half. Look into that. If you're young right now, you have no idea what that is. Go look at a Roth IRA. That's R O T H. That's Roth I R A. Okay. Go look at that. Go see what it is. Go learn the about Irish that. Irish Revolutionary Army. What? No, uh, it's in individual retirement account. Stop playing with me. IRA though. That's, <laughs> that's the IRA. Irish Revolutionary Army. The what? The Irish Revolutionary Army. That's a real thing. Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, I this one stands for individual retirement account. All right, and this is simple. We talked about it here before. I'm gonna give you a simple, plain formula right now. Let's let's make believe, right, that you invest a hundred dollars every single month. Every single month, you put a hundred dollars into a uh, Roth IRA, right? There's like some type of mutual fund type thing, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say that gives you ten percent annually from the time right now to the time you're fifty and a half. Let's say forty years span, right? So let's say you're twenty. By the time you turn sixty years old, you have a million dollars in there. You get me? Plus Not, whatever you make on your own. Right, plus whatever you make on your own. I'm saying that account, just by the time you're six, you look at that account, you lived your life like, oh, shit, I got an extra million dollars in there. Maybe you did real estate. Maybe you make hella money. It don't matter. The point here is that you start doing something for your future. You get me? The point is that you start getting your mind. You start to understand where your money's going. Mm-hmm. A lot of young people have no idea where their money's going. They get their money, and instead of uh, spending what's left over, they, uh, I'm sorry, instead of sa- instead of um, saving, saving First, they spend what's left. No, no, time out. You fucking fucked me up there. So basically, most people do this. They get their check, right? They blow all their money. What's left over? Like, oh, you know what? I'll save this. That's fucking bad mentality. Do not do that. You got to get your check and already know, okay, I'm going to separate X amount to savings, X amount to bills, X amount to this, and whatever left over, that shit, that's what I'm going to use for entertainment. So if you only have $100 left over, you live a $100 lifestyle. You do not live a $105 mm-hmm. lifestyle, $110 lifestyle. You live a $100 lifestyle. Do not go over that. Most people get it fucked up. You get me? And then that's how you get your little credit cards and you start fucking with that and then you start fucking yourself up really, really, really bad in that scenario. So, what I'm... Pass me the charger, please, in the back. And that's that's exactly how people start to, to get really fucked up. So, for you young people listening right now, I would recommend that's probably one of the first things that you do. You get me? Look into that. Look into and and start having the mentality of how you can save more money. Stop looking at shoes. Stop looking at clothes and saying, oh, I need this shit right now. I need this shit right now. You end up fucking up and spending hella money. That's a bad mentality to have, bro. So look into Roth IRA and talk to me about self-care, my guy. Um, 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 um. I think self-care is necessary. Because you, well, self-investment, self-care, self-development is what I usually consider all of them together. Um, You can't give what you don't have. That is the essence of self-care. And, um, you know, everybody says, and everybody says it this way, right? They say it's good and necessary to be a little selfish. What, What they mean by that, you know, is you need to deposit and have some things in you so that you can give to others. If you don't love yourself, it's hard for you to love somebody else. If you don't have peace with yourself, it's hard for you to project peace to others. If you don't know how to s- encourage yourself, you cannot encourage other people. If you don't know how to take care of yourself, how to follow the rhythms of your soul, how to know when you're up, how to know when you're down, how to know when you're restless and when you're anxious, if you don't have self-awareness, then you can't project that to others when they need that from you. And you start giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. Eventually, you hear people say, yo, I just burned out. I just burned out. I didn't have nothing else to give. You, know, you hear people, you know, that's when depression hits. So that's when anxiety hits. That's when people find, you know, uh, drug abuse or alcoholism or consumerism. People start buying stuff to make themselves feel happy because you didn't know how to find peace. Because that's what we're all yearning for, to be honest. We're all yearning for peace. For me to be able to lay down on my bed and, and, and feel okay with myself. You know, if you don't know... How, what gives you that that joy, that peace to keep going, to keep pursuing life, to find you know uh, joy in the mundane? Then you definitely, definitely will run out before you get to forty. You know, so forget an investment account because the first investment account is your health, your spiritually, mentally, and physically. The second one is financial. Mm-hmm. You get me? So start with those two things because those are essential. 
uh, whether that's faith for you or whether that's food for you. Mm -hmm. Find something that gives you a, a, a certain, you know, peace moment. And from that, everything else flows, yeah. I think. And I, I, I actually agree with that, too. You know, um, a lot. I've said this before, too. A lot of people, the reason why you can never get mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, you can't invest into yourself is because you're struggling with money. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are struggling to pay the bullshit that you decided to buy. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say this is because a lot of people, they get themselves into car notes, they get themselves into mortgages, yeah. they get themselves into these these traps, right? Where they need to, they need to, and they have to work that job now that they fucking mm -hmm. hate because they have to pay yeah, this shit yeah, off. Sure. And while you're doing that, your, your mental health, your anxiety, the way you feel about it, all of that shit is going to shit. And you don't have time mm. to work on it because you're too busy focusing on other things. Yeah. I absolutely agree. Put that stuff to the back. It's going to be there regardless, mm -hmm. right? If you have money positive, it's going to be there regardless. Focus on you. You get me? And what you can do for yourself. You get me? Whether you have to wake up early and I don't, you know, there's a million and one things. Meditate, pray, whatever it is that you do. Hit the gym. Yeah, exactly. You know, but whatever it is that you have to do to get yourself together, I definitely say you got to do that first. You get yeah. me? If if you, you're always going to put out whatever you're going to put out whatever you Inside put into you, yeah, you exactly. first. You get me? So if you're eating McDonald's and drinking Henny every single day, you, you yo, your shit's going to be all fucked up. You get me? Uh, I, don't I, know. I thought you were going to say you're living a good life. No, no, no. Because, you know, realistically, I don't know too many fit and healthy motherfuckers are eating McDonald's and are sup are yeah. supposedly Chad, um, what's Chad Ocho Johnson? Cinco? Ocho Cinco. He's like, yo, I eat McDonald's every day and I smoke cigars every day and I still stay fit. Well, motherfucker, that's a go gene right, right. there. <laughs> that's what we're talking about because you one of a kind. You get me? Most yeah, people can't get away with eating yeah. McDonald's every single day and stay fit. You get me? So I, I agree with you. Definitely yeah, look into investing into yourself first because if you're positive, if you're good, if you're healthy, yeah. then you can make sure that other people around you are also good. And, and, sure. and physically, I know we're not supposed to be shallow, but physically, your appearance for sure. makes you feel some type of way. And also, what you eat affects your behavior, man. If you're always sluggish. Oh, yes. It's because you're eating too many carbs or too yep. much grease or too much whatever. So you got to learn to find the patterns of what works for your body, what works for your mind, what works for your soul. But definitely find healing. And I will say this. Shaming is not too many bad things with shaming. You know, I know <laughs> that we look, a, a bad, a, like we look at like fat <laughs> shaming as something bad. We look at shaming for something bad. Sometimes that's what people need. Appreciate, appreciate. Honestly, sometimes people need a little bit of shame. I ain't gonna lie. George shames me all the time at the gym, bro. All the time. Everybody. And honestly, it's look. Some, and I, I guarantee you, look. Sometimes I look at Chris in the gym, right? And I do shame him a little bit. Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, bro, that that ain't shit. That ain't, but the next the next set that he does is a lot better. You get me? And that's I'm trying to tell you. Sometimes a little shame helps. Yeah, a, li <laughs> a little shame works because you you know sometimes we walk around we don't tell that friend yo bro you too fat yeah, we don't tell him that him, and him. then five years pass by and this motherfucker hella obese Diabetes ain't nobody yeah ain't nobody telling him shit you know everybody's over here and like I said it last podcast. Fuck your feelings. And I know that we didn't get to put it out, but it's true, man. Sometimes we're, we're too worried about, like, yo, I don't want to hurt the feelings. Yo, sometimes you need to tell these people shit. You, know I mean? you need to tell them, yo, you fucking up, man. Yeah, what yeah. you're doing ain't right. It's not good. Stop fucking up. You get know I me? Mean? So, a shaman is a little good sometimes. You get know I me? Mean? So, remember, hey. it's all about the heart intention and we mean well. Exactly, exactly. All right, man. This is the last and final question. This one is, what inspired you to start vlogging? So, I mean, Again, I, I I get I get the question. What's the podcast? Everything, right? You wanna you wanna start? You can start. I think I started the first lesson, right? Okay, fine. All right, man. So you know, I work a nine to five, regular nine to five. Uh, so do you? And I'll be you know in my in my little cubicle thing. I remember I was start, I started listening to Gary V, and a lot of the stuff that Gary v was saying, I was agreeing with. And he just started saying, you know, whatever it is that you wanna do, start. You know, yada yada yada. You know, the whole motivational thing, right? So, you know, it, it sometime, you know, just stood by and I started to think about these things about, you know, like what would be cool to have? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that I've wanted to try? You know, during this time, I was already like in my in my state of like of I was saying yes to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I normally yeah. wouldn't say yes to. Right. I was doing, you know, trying new things, doing new the boy things. Ate snails with a fork. Yes. I, I snail a bunch of shit. Right. <laughs> I was I was doing some shit, you know. And um, you know, me and Chris were and 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 Fatima were we're having dinner. We're actually we're having lunch, and we're talking. And uh, Chris goes, "Oh, we should start a podcast." And that clicked with me because I've been having that idea for a while. You get me? Like mm -hmm. literally. So once he said it for me, it felt like oh shit, like it's it's meant to be. It's like a thing. Like you know, you said it. All right, you mm -hmm. know what? Let's do it. 
and I remember, you know, we're planning. That was a New York trip. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was like in March. What? No, that was a New York trip. That was another trip. No, we're going to Orlando or something Orlando, like that, right? Because last year. Yeah, which was last year. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to like Orlando. I just knew we had a trip. So, you know, that means that we have some money we're going to spend. So, like, you know, r- right after the trip, let's make it as cheap as possible. But let's start this shit mm-hmm. ASAP. Because the last thing no I wanted excuses. to do was, you know, no, let's wait till we get this. You know, mm-hmm. if we would have done that, we probably would have never started, yeah. to be honest with you. You get me? So, literally, that, that weekend pass, Chris bought the mic, the little mic, road mic, he, I don't know, a bunch of, like, little stuff we bought, little yeah, guys, little we, tripods. We, we, we literally, like, hit them Yeah, set yeah, up. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we might as well just stack some stuff on, on books, yeah. you get me, like, type type vibe. You know, we, we used a lamp as a light for a little yeah. while. Like, I mean, it was it was crazy. And even now, the setup isn't, like, beautiful, but, but it's, it's definitely a, a big upgrade from joke, what we had. Huge joke. Yeah, so... <laughs> So, you know, um, so basically what I'm trying to get at is the story of how we started. But, you know, I I think why we started this was because of that. You know, me and Chris are having a lot of conversations that I felt were meaningful. You get me? And that they meant they meant something. You get me? That it was conversations about growth. It was conversations about being a better person. And I felt like other people could benefit from these conversations. You get me? Now. I'm not saying that we're some fucking motivational speakers and we're some like great like but oh if my you god. Wanna hire us. Uh, we ain't complaining. That'd be great. We ain't complaining for sure. You know and but you know but but with that being said though you know we felt like we had something to offer in conversation mm-hmm. with other people and with that other people eventually will join in the conversation start asking us yeah. questions and we just have one big ass conversation mm-hmm. because my thing is this I think a lot about certain shit I'm sure you think mm-hmm. a lot about certain shit we have our own ideas and you know this that and the third yeah. and it's dope to have people with different points of views yeah because yeah. you know a lot of people think that when you argue is bad no it's not you know you don't want to be with a yes man every single time just you have a conversation about yes yes yeah. yes i agree yeah. with you yes what? yes yeah. no what? you want to have you know some type of barrier where it's like nah i don't think that's right mm-hmm. you know look at it like this and now you kind of have a different point of view you get me and that's that's the whole point that life is all about that Different. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a different point of view, Perhaps, and you know, yeah. we just get to share. We get to talk about it, and that's you know that, that that's our our yeah, lining. Yeah. You get me? And I've I've always said it, and I think I'm gonna say it to death do us apart, bro. Mm-hmm. Is uh, <laughs> is that you know for us, I'm down isn't something we do. It's it's who we are. It, yeah. Like I'm down is an overflow of our friendship. Yeah. Um, you know, just was just telling you guys a moment ago. We were doing a bunch of random things. Like, every weekend, I, I, I love research. Like, I'm a loser, guys. So, every weekend, I'll be like, George, we got to check this out. We got to check this out. And he'll be like, all right, all right, all right. And so, then when we were coming up with the name, we're like, yo, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, it was two names, remember? Yeah. I said, either I'm down or I'm with you, yeah, right? Because I feel it. like that's what yeah. we said yeah. all the time. And so, it wasn't like a, like a, a catchy name or a click name. It was literally just an like, overflow of how our friendship goes. Mm-hmm. Where, like, he has an idea or I have an idea. Yeah. And, and, like, we got each other's back. Yeah. And, and the same thing with you guys is we want to encourage you guys to just do your thing because if we would have waited around for uh, finally a uh, audio interface or yeah, the yeah. Mac or we would have waited for 1080p, you know, yeah, we would have yeah. waited for stuff, we would have still been waiting around because to this day, we still don't have the setup we hope to have and right. we know that it's at the level with somebody else. Yeah. But, um, you know, the commu- communication part, the idea transfer, that that just the conversation and, and the respect we have for one another mm-hmm. is what I'm done is all about. It's saying, man, um, we don't want to have regrets. Yeah. Yeah, even if we fail completely this, we're probably going to be doing this for the next 25 years, bro. Like, yeah. except that now, and in 25 years, it'll be like my kid running around and yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. hey, guys, sorry, I'm recording. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But it, the shift is just going to be, you know, everything else. This is what causes I'm down to happen, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Um... Got anything else to add? Nah, man. Yeah, the last I think question. we had a couple points. Um, yeah, I think so too. So. All right, man. Hey, again, if you listen to this and you think we're dumb, you think what we said was stupid, stupid. you think what we said was <laughs> ignorant, ignorant, you think what we said was prophetic, Ooh. if you think what we said was smart, smart. if you think what we said was enlightening, enlightening. share this podcast, share. like this podcast, like. tell your mama about tell it, your mama. tell your grandma about it, tell your, grandma. Tell your auntie about auntie. it. No, aunties love me sometimes. La tia, la tia. Sometimes. La tia. La tia. <laughs> All right, man. You know what it is. This is I'm Down. Till next time. 